Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. We also provide online tuitions and training on specific topics and on some of the latest technologies. Along with this, we also provide freelance solution to a wide variety of projects in different areas okay so if you have any requirement on such on such topics or such things you can contact us at through our website or directly on our mail which is jcbrolabs at gmail.com so moving forward in this video we will talk about how to record sound and how to play back it uh, using python okay so in our previous video we talked about uh, previous one of video we talked about how to play the sound in this video we will talk about recording and playing back again so we'll be using as you know this uh, anaconda navigator so for recording sound we need a package which is the sound device package so you can install sound device module for this python on anaconda uh, from this terminal First, you need to navigate to the Anaconda scripts uh, folder, which uh, is found in uh, users folder. So, suppose you have uh, installed this Anaconda for a specific user, then you have to go through that user folder and then scripts, and then you can write pip install uh, sound device. So I have already installed it, so it will not display anything. Uh, from this command, you can install this uh, uh, sound device uh, module on your computers. Okay. So then we are using this uh, spider. So open a spider, and in a spider, if you are new to it, right? So you can check whether sound device has been imported or not by importing sound device as let's say sd okay if no error is there that means you have imported it okay so let's start writing uh, first of all because we will be plotting some of the waves or uh, recording waves we need to import matplotlib library if you found like i am little um, uh, i am little fast while explaining some of the concepts then you can let me know by commenting on this video and then in my future videos I will try to be slow okay so let's say matplotlib.pyplot as plt and the another library which will be needing is sound device as st okay so let's write a command so that uh, it uh, automatic close all the previously open figures close all now first of all we will uh, check okay let's save this file as record underscore python yep so uh, let's first run it okay now all these things have been imported uh, now first thing is to uh, get to know what are the several devices which are attached uh, to my computer and which are supported by this module so we can write this command sd dot query underscore devices so it will list out all the devices or microphones which are connected to it and it will put a arrow sign like in arrow sign and out arrow sign for indicating the default devices and it shows like input device and output device so this is the microphone is connected and the channel id is one this is the channel id id of the device and this is the speaker okay and then we can also check the default devices like sd dot default dot device so you can get direct channel id from it input and then output okay so this information is crucial when uh, we are writing the code because uh, we need to provide the channel information to it so <coughs> now coming back to programming sub, sub, uh, first of all we will set some of the initial parameters like for how long duration we want to record and what should be the sampling frequency 
uh, of the recording so first we need to provide the sampling information like let's say we are using a 16 kilohertz and the duration of let's say we are recording about three second duration and then uh, okay now that's it and then let's make an indication let's record voice okay so first of all we uh, let's print an indication to the user so that he or she can understand okay they have to start speaking now and then uh, we can use command sd.rec it is a record command uh, in this uh, this by default takes up number of frames as an input like how many of frames uh, you want to record so for that reason we need to provide this uh, uh, duration multiply by uh, sampling frequency and the integer part of it so that it takes only integer number of frames and then we will provide the sampling information and then we can provide the channel information like channel 1 okay and uh, I hope uh, this is fine yep and this particular function uh, returns the data into a form of a numpy array so we can directly store in any variable let's say we have stored it in a variable a and let's say we print a statement like to stop speaking Okay. so there are <coughs> several default settings as well uh, like because uh, device is directly connected as default as an input so we if we don't provide this information even then this code will run okay now let's plot it plt dot plot a and make it a title plt dot tla recorded sound okay let's run this program okay you will find a little absurd like as soon as you run the program it is says stop speaking and then it created a graph but now if we create a graph again we will get a something different okay the reason for that behavior is like uh, this command doesn't hold the control uh, like uh, it release the control as soon as it is executed okay and uh, recording is being taken place in the background so uh, obviously it is a very uh, it could be uh, very little awkward when we are recording something because we want to uh, record first and then we want to move forward okay so there's a command for that that is sd dot wait this is sd the sound device dot wait so it will uh, wait until our recording is completed okay so now you can check uh, the difference in the output okay so let's run it again okay and only then recording is completed for three second duration it says stop speaking okay same thing can be done there is another command as well another uh, thing as well we can provide the same information uh, here by default this uh, uh, is set to false if we make blocking equals to true then it will in itself hold the control of the command that means it will not move to next command uh, until unless this recording is completed okay so let's check it again as well Okay. only then this will come up okay so and that is fine we recorded the sound okay now let's test whether it is the same sound which I have recorded or not because uh, it could be the thing okay you have you can think like I have displaying something else so let's play it back playing back recorded sound so playing back, back is very easy there is a command sd dot play and the array which you want to play back and the sampling information which I already provided as FS and because the out device is by default 
as a speaker so we don't need to provide any specific words. so uh, this is a uh, this may be required if you have more than two devices, two sound devices connected to your computer. Then, uh, uh, if you want to uh, hear sound on some other device, then you can provide this information uh, like sound device ID. Okay, so let's play it back. Run it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, let's run it again. <laughs> I hope you find it enjoyable and I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you have any query and if you have any suggestion then you can comment uh, below this video and please subscribe uh, if you have not subscribed it yet. Please subscribe our channel in order to support us for making such funny or interesting uh, free uh, tutorial videos. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you.